One Piece. One Piece. No, One Piece. Fudge you, One Piece. piece. What's hey. up, everybody? Yeah, One Piece hey. of the Dragon Ball Z. Of the Dragon Balls. There you go. Welcome to the CNP, the Chibino oh, Podcast, guys. This is uh, Mr. We're Worldwide. Like <clears throat> this is a brand new episode. It's been a while since we recorded what? To weeks? review. Oh, yeah. review. It was a review episode. My, my bad, my bad. Of Dragon bad Ball news, Super. Bad yes. Dragon Ball Super. Last two episodes because we've been behind. Because yeah, this we've everybody's been super on the excited. same page. This is a Dragon Ball podcast it's basically what's come down to it's okay I, i'm okay with that <laughs> but uh let, let's go down let's um let's do some um introductions here as, as always you have me david the smash fan and the one introducing us was mr world 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 worldwide that's patent pending <laughs> no it's mr worldwide that's how yours is patent pending you can make no, your mine's well, cooler than patent pending copyright patent it and see mr gringo himself <laughs> oh wow smiles are tight guys move on <laughs> yeah let, 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 let's let's dive right into this um let's go let's go through a, a quick summary of episode 48 and 49 um i'll go through episode 48 and then miles will tell us a brief summary of what happened in episode 49 and then we'll dive into what we thought we'll about 48 it 48 and then 49 oh. no we're just doing summaries oh okay okay, okay right okay, now okay, and okay. then we'll do we'll talk about what we thought of the episode and one what episode then? Yeah, I'll summarize 48. So 48. David will, and then you summarize 49. That's what he said. Okay. Yeah, you, you, can just, fall, you can fall asleep on your phone. Wee. No, Diego will, <laughs> we're, 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 and will give his two cents yes. as, we, as we talk. So uh, basic summary of, of episode 48, if you uh, didn't see it, I'm um, going to start off again with Trunks in the future. Um, basically, add fighting uh, Black, and you, uh, you see him go Super Saiyan for the first time um, in, this, in the Dragon Ball Super. And still, he doesn't hold a candle to Black. Black. I mean, he he hits him, but as he gets hit, like Black just laughs Black it off. Black let him hit him. Yeah, well, I think he got him. He got a good first hit because you he see wasn't his face? expecting it. Yeah, but he's he, like, he, oh, and then he's like, ha ha. Yeah, he's like, oh, you have some fun. You so he was happy about it I, in some way. He's he's just sadistic in in that way. Like but anyway, mentality, which is um, weird. Chuck was able to. To shoot up Masenko, which was weird because you've never seen well, him do that. Well, his teacher was Gohan. And yes, yes. In the games, since it's not canon, sorry. In the games, he can do the Masenko. Yeah, but you've never seen it in the in the show. So you're like, okay, it makes sense. Never seen it. It's cool. He does it to to distract Black a little bit, grabs his sword, and then heads to the future. Um, and basically, Trunks, um, little Trunks, finds him. Um, and it alerts his mom. Doesn't realize it yeah. was just like him. And and then they call. Uh, I guess Whis gave Bulma this like a transmitter, the, yeah, ca- yeah, to, like, communicator thing okay, yeah. to talk to to Whis. So he get food. so she calls Whis. Yeah, basically for food. That that's all it was for. Like, let's let's be real here. Like but um, so he calls Goku and Vegeta and she tells, tells him, him that Trunks Vegeta, is here. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, Beerus and Whis have uh, like had seemed interested in this. Like so, what's going on? Yeah, and so they have Chibi we'll Trunks power this. up to Super Saiyan. Goku finds his energy and then instant transmits, instant transmits yeah. to him. And the episode ends with uh, Goku uh, with Goku a getting sense a sense of being. We'll talk about how he gets a sense of because that that was probably one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen in my life. We'll talk about it in just a minute. And then um, he gets it to Trunks, and then Trunks kind of wakes up and he's seeing everybody. He sees everybody, but, the but then he sees Goku talk, freaks out, freaks out, and then sh- and then throws a punch at him. Which and then Goku the ep- easily blocked. He, he blocks it. Wrong. He has that super confusing. <laughs> what? And then the episode, the episode kind of ends right there. It, to me, it was kind of uh, where it got is great, but in a way, there's a lot of wasted episode or a lot of wasted, wasted minutes time. in that episode. Yes. It was like get to the damn point as a new arc, and it was half of it just or. Twenty minutes it, it was like peel off. It's funny because it's around. it's like they it's like, know a, they what well, the thing is they know that you're gonna watch it and they know that true. you're excited so they're like we'll just kind of drag this part out because we just want to. Like, well, it's dick. like it was such a serious tone of an episode. Yes. Everything was very intense. He just came back from his mother dying, and I just felt it was very disrespectful to come in from such an intense moment to the fans and then just turn into a freaking joke of an episode. Does that make sense? Where I'm coming? Yeah, yeah. I get you, but the so thing like, is, 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 the is, like is, a, is what they're doing with Super is just trying to get a very Dragon Ball esque vibe, but then they're trying to put in the Dragon Ball Z seriousness, but it's kind of they don't know how to mix, mix it. Because well. they're you see, learning like, Dragon though. Ball Z was like the Android's coming. 
it was a full on like immediately he said he was from the future to Goku and then he's like I need to talk to you and then the next the next we were like what's gonna go on and then you find out there all were, this dark yeah. past and then he leaves like and then it was very serious we got to train for three there's no jokes like when it came down to like the nitty gritty and like this is dark stuff's yes. gonna happen people have yes, died I and I just felt like he came and we waited all week to see it and then he comes and it's like what's been going on Trunks tell us. And we this had to is wait serious. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Your whole planet's almost wiped out. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, peel off. It's like, get the hell out of here. I, like, will, I don't mind the joke I, episodes. I just felt it was wrong. For I the just, tone I what's think they're on. still learning how to, to mix, in, yeah. mix it in. It was good. It, it kind of made light heart of the, of the thing because, because like, again, like we like they mentioned before, Toy Animation has said, they're not trying to make it as dark and gory as original Z was because it's changed. True. So I mean, I'm seeing, I see what they're doing, but when with this arc, it should be dark, and there should be some funny moments, I guess, but it not wasn't an inappropriate time. time. It wasn't. It was a very inappropriate. Again, time. I think they showed one part in that that they showed. Just, uh, just one, if it shortened it, it was it would have been better. Um, but one big part that they showed was the relationship that's that's blossomed between Mai and Trunks. Uh, yeah. Again, we saw this in the movie that they kind of quote unquote get together and Mai kind of references Holding in the hands. Yeah, and in <laughs> and Mai references um Trunks being his her boyfriend in Resurrection mm-hmm. F in the movie. Yeah. Saying like this is my boyfriend, he'll come beat you up. So I mean they <laughs> kind of alluded scene. to this is eventually what's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. So it was it was nice to see she's that. She's got forty years on him, so okay. But it's nice to see that yeah. you see this relationship <laughs> happening Mental with them. Now. You see this relationship happening with them. So th- th- that little moment was actually really interesting. I, I like, really like you that. know what's funny is I think even though they've always been like spo- goofs and like very childish, it seems like they're, they're regressing like more. No, no, no. My peel off in the gang, like the p- peel off crew. The Dragon Ball it seems like the they're they're being more. Childish in mentality too. Like when they not, should be older. Per yeah, se. and I think it's because they regret they regress to a child. You know, they because like you the, think like maybe the transformation kind of transform their personality in a way too. Yeah, so it's not as uh, weird to say that like let's say that Trunks and my were dating in Trunks' yeah. timeline because she would be like what eighty Doesn't years Bulma old. Bulma and Goku realize who the hell they are. I think they do, but I think they don't care because they're not a threat. Yeah, that's true. So, but yeah, that's just my that's my. But thoughts. anyway, I just that's the only problem I have. We're getting such a serious arc. You want to do jokes? We love it. It's great. It's just you know what? It the, depends. I feel on like certain forty nine and forty eight could have been one episode in a way if yeah. done properly. Because even forty nine, which we'll get into later, I felt had some sidetracking a little bit too, but not as bad. Forty eight. It was just a little bit here. I I but the I one feel like it could have been one whole like, what's going on in the future? future why did you come here this could have been want an to know 48 and 49 did nothing 48 and 49 could have been an hour special for the news that's a, I the, think that would have been good that's the one point. part though that i think was the saving grace for 48 uh-huh. was yajirobe and freaking corn <laughs> that was a funny thing like when, if you ever thought like what the heck does corn and yajirobe do in their spare time and <laughs> obviously they played limbo <laughs> it was, a, <laughs> I was like what the heck it was a funny i couldn't stop laughing i was like what where does yajirobe get all that food he, all he has to eat a sense of beer. Remember in Dragon Ball, it it's said you eat one and it falls. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Since Goku burns like seven but days he lo- of food, you think like you would have lost minute. some weight. He eats some like. Go- Remember when Goku first got the he ate like, like a whole. Oh like, yeah, he ate like, like five a handful, handful of it, and then he's like, the beans. Well, so so he is the one that's ruining them every single time. They're like, we only got four left because fat ass up there is eating them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, that's how he's staying alive. <laughs> but that part was hilarious. It was like you see corn stretching and like getting ready to limbo. That was funny. I was like. These guys are so gay. <laughs> See, like, let's put it that way. I don't mind subtle comedy. Like, that would have been fine just in the episode itself. But, like, that's as much as I would have liked. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, no, that would have been a great, like, as serious as you are for, like, 23 minutes or so of the episode where you just get, like, the 30 seconds of, in all seriousness, you can kind of have that great, like, moment of, like, a smile in an episode. Yeah. But when it becomes this drawn out, like, 15 minutes of an episode of filler, when it's such, it's like freaking Future Trunks came back after 20 years of us waiting 17, in animation. Actually. 17, actually. 17. No, no, I'm not talking about no, time. No, no, it, no. He's talking about when we originally saw like it. When we're kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay, been like 20 okay. years to wait to see him back again. And then we get him in such a serious crisis, and instead we get 15 minutes of Pilos getting being idiots. Right. Like, he has seen what he <laughs> talked about was, was Corrin's Tower. That was great. I'm glad it was in there. And I feel that's as much comedy should have gotten, and the rest could have been a merger of 49. Yeah. No, that's all you. I'm saying. I get you. And, yeah, I, I just want to know attention. what's going on. I am. I can hear. But anyway. Anyway. It was, it was, I'm glad we got what we got. I just... I, I personally liked the episode probably more than you did. I, I honestly enjoyed it a lot more, probably. But I, I, I did at first. I felt like I personally enjoyed it a lot more. But then when as I like got to dis- as, I, as I got to um, dissect it more, I was like, 
they shouldn't Were you getting a little frustrated a little Not bit? Not frustrated, but I was like, uh, this wasn't needed here. But I, I liked it overall. I, I, I mean, still like these. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. It's just I'm, I'm, I just want to know what's going on. And I don't like wasting my time with these childish scenes that are a little too long in such a serious moment. I think where I want to know what's going on with Trunks. You know, he just got back and he's lost his mother. He just lost. What's up with day, other like, trunks too? He's probably losing that's his true. mind. I'm just saying, you know, there's so Shima much for it, to, for it to happen ish. that I just felt like they just washed it away. And I was just, as a fan, I was disappointed because I, I want to know what the heck's going on. Uh, well, then let's jump into episode 49, Miles. Give us a, re- a summary. So a summary of what happened. So this is one where we actually got to know what happened in the past, right? This is a, this is where, or not the past, sorry, the future. I'm getting confused. This is where we actually got to know what happened in the future. And uh, what what I feel we should have gotten in forty eight, and you know we um, <clears throat> how do I say it? like the pacing in this episode is a lot more better. I, I liked I liked how the interaction between Vegeta and Trunks. I oh, yeah. you like that, Diego? I, I liked it because it was like he still acted he, kind he, of the same as he Cell, was a right? little bit fifty fifty though. He was like, why why couldn't you do do this? Like you don't need us, kind of a thing. But yeah, then like you, you could tell, running away, but you could tell like, oh, he right? was really happy to see him. You could tell he was because he was if you remember for if we backtrack, remember he told him he's like Goku, go get a Senzubi now. Yeah, he's like that, he was that was his first. Yeah, well, because it's his son. Because yeah. I mean, he saw his son freaking die, you know, and like that, it, it doesn't matter how cold hearted you are, like how cold hearted Vegeta, Vegeta ever was. Just a tough parent. Okay. Yeah, but he he has tough it, love, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. and I, like uh, I I really like where where he finally described him. He's like the enemy looks just like you, and he's like like me, and then I really liked how Beerus and Whis were like wait time travel. And this is see this is a perfect example of where comedy was done right, but in a serious episode, we had like one good funny moment, but the rest was all serious. And the funny moment was where um, Bulma gave the, the fish sausages to Whis and Beerus to calm him down and not get mad about the time travel. Also, on top of that, what was funny was um, and that was a great comedy. Trump's like, scene. who is he? And they're like, he's a god of what? Yeah, he's actually a god of destruction. <gasps> oh, where he thought Whis was so a yeah, god. He's, he's like, like, sorry, you sorry, come on, summer. And then he's like, like uh, <laughs> that, no, Beerus is like, uh, that, like that's, uh, that's nice, but actually he's the god. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this guy looks more like the god. <laughs> but see, like, the, the, all they had was just, like, little subtle jokes. Yes. But, in all to- uh, but in all seriousness, it was a really serious tone episode. And that's yeah. where I felt like the pace he was done right in this episode. Yes. Where I, I, I especially like the the little um, uh, comedy that we had with, uh, Pilaf? with Pilaf, where they're like, this is my. This is also my son, Chunk. They're like, I feel a scandal here, and they also like running around like, I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. But like, those comedies were good because they only lasted like thirty seconds yeah. or so. But the rest of it, was they weren't the trying to the push out for two. It was or three a little minutes. smiles you can get out of a serious mm-hmm. episode where it wasn't a waste like forty eight to me, and this one was the one to me that did it right. Yes. Uh-huh. And the thing I like too was where Goku's like, okay, you got this guy. He looks like me. He's powerful. You're powerful. What's happening? How and strong are you now? Actually, yes. because, because, because when he comes back to like, who, what's, who's your enemy? Is it this monster called Majin Buu? Oh, I like that because they're like, Trunks is, is it like, Majin Buu no, you're talking about? Majin Buu like, was no, nothing. He never, no, well, no, no, he's never like, came. he never, he's like, I stopped him before he came. And that was cool because theorists and everything like us, we've always wondered, did Buu come? Whether it be a yeah, point for Bobby to come because there's no humans, but he did. And, and we see him fighting Dabra and stops him. He says that the Kaioshin came and informed him. The Kaioshin mm-hmm. told him that was weird. Yes. Uh, did he say train him in the in Spanish? When it says he trained remember. him. Did he say train? I don't Spanish? remember. I didn't, I didn't see training in, in Spanish. English, I remember. Him. Yeah, I just remember okay. he said that he showed him what he needed to do. That's true. But and it was cool because it confirmed Super Saiyan two Trunks. It did. Trunks Meaning trans- without trans- Goku, without Vegeta, without the hyperbolic time chamber, Trunks has been killing it. He's not by himself. Strong. I mean, he's. I, could, I would honestly say he's. It's probably stronger than Gohan was at Cell's level 17 years ago in his, from his past, right? I think, probably, I think he's stronger than Gohan was uh, when he fought against Boo, when what? he was Mystic. That's what I believe. Trunks? No, no. I doubt that. Don't no. think so? No, because cause if you, we, not that we have exact parallels because they don't really matter, but we know that Super Saiyan 3 and Mystic Gohan and Mystic Gohan are on the same type of tier. Well, the thing is, Gohan so doesn't burn as much count. energy as Super Saiyan 3. No, so but, but still, yeah, at max good, power. We're just saying that Mystic Gohan, so, we know, okay. is as and powerful or in that tier. Again, we, again we, we know that Goku Super Saiyan 3 now is stronger than his Super Saiyan 3 when he fought Majin Buu. We, but we yeah. know that, that, that he's already stronger at that point. Um, for example, like you told me, Vegeta could easily be beaten Dabra in Super Saiyan 1 form, although Gohan would need to be Super Saiyan 2 to battle him. Yeah. Because just because they're a Super Saiyan, you can be really strong as a Super Saiyan. Well, the Saiyan. thing is, also, is you have to learn the, bo- the, the body. The, 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 body. The, um, 
the technique because Vegeta knows Super Saiyan so well because that's all he had for a long time. Yeah. Whereas Goku was like, oh, let's get to the second one, let's get to the third one. <laughs> and he didn't have any training on the third one. Yeah. That's why he burned up so much energy. But we're backtracking here. Anyways, Sorry. Trunks was g- getting kind of worked up by Deborah, and then he turns Super Saiyan 2. Yep. Which and was awesome. And he's confirm. catching like this bit or he's like blocking it him off and that was cool he destroys the he said the that. battle was pretty hard for him though but dara is a pretty high class character i mean we know that he's confirmed around a cell tier character yeah and we yeah, don't know perfect how, cell tier. and we don't know how powerful the is in that time either. because no. this is like this is like we don't know. remember this was a this happened a year before he came here so uh, so the must have gone a lot stronger that time and i'm pretty sure that yeah, Bobby that was waited. Extra, that was extra, like si- uh, ten years yeah. of strength. And Bobby must have waited because at the time they were they probably could have come, or they could have come. There was not enough humans to. Yeah, there was. There would be no way to get enough energy to resurrect so Majin Buu. Yeah, so, so if we think about this, how long was it from Majin Buu to where Black comes? Uh, it must have been like Quick, I, I want right to say like there. weeks. Probably within weeks, Black comes. Okay, so if it's like, well, are you sure? Because then why didn't Black come in our current timeline? Well, this is what he says. He says Black, because he's been fighting him for exactly a year. And when he's talking to uh, Goku and Vegeta about when Boo came, he said ago. it was about a year ago. So it could be, to be between, like, I think it's under three months of when Black shows up. So it okay. could be 15 months. Okay. Uh, so when he fought so back to the then... summary, uh, Go, Goku says, show me how strong you've gotten. I want you to gauge me to where Black stands. And then you and see so Super you Saiyan 2. see Go, Goku power up, uh, or you see Trunks power up full Saiyan. He's like, oh, looks like you've ascended a Super Saiyan. You got Super Saiyan 2, you know? And then he's like, okay, I'll go right off that to the bat too. And then Trunks is like, well, that's what we expected. So then he goes to fight, and then, you know, Gohan, uh, Goku's doing really good holding his own in Super Saiyan 2. And he's like, yeah, as you are now still. And he's like, all right, I'll take it up further. So then he goes to Super Saiyan 3, and Trunks is just like, what? You ascended what? the level of another level what, what of Super Saiyan? What was funny is, like, Trunks didn't get phased by it. He's like... He's just well, like, that's, that's Goku. That's Goku. Like, he's like, expect it from you. And then he goes and he hits him. And he's like, now what do you think? He's like, he, I would think you'd you... You already- know what was a big thing that bugged the hell out of me? So... Chi Chi gets a phone call to get the, for Piccolo and Krillin to head over there because Trunks has arrived. Goten's gonna go, and Chi Chi's like, "No, Goten, you gotta I'm stay sorry. here." I was pissed because 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 like it just makes people's dumb theories of Black Goku being Goten. I, even though they stated that Black Goku had been around forever and destroying planets, but I'm pretty sure people are still gonna put that. Well, let's get to the theories. Well, we'll, we'll, get theories in the we'll, we'll finish the summary real quick. So he powers up Super Saiyan three. And Trunks tells him, no, I'd say he's still a little stronger than that, which we know Goku's obviously Super Saiyan 3 is nothing to him anymore. So now, and then after that happened, um, he's like, okay, and then, you know, Trunk, he beats Trunks in like a one-two punch. And then he gets back up, says sorry, says he's okay, and then all of a sudden the cloud splits and Black Goku comes out. And he looks at him, he's like, so that's where you've been hiding. And then he looks over at Goku and he's like, so you must be Son Goku. So he knows Which, him. That was interesting. So hold on, so that was pretty much, if I remember right, that was the end of the oh, episode. Oh, and that was there was one other thing that was weird kay. is when he was sent, searching for trunks for sensing his key, he put his two fingers together to his forehead. Which is which how he does instant transmission, how Goku which does it. Now, okay, so now the summary is over. We can now confirm certain things. Now, yeah. now we know that um, instant transmission is faster than Whis's t- uh, travel in the cube or just yes. you know going through his little which slipstream weird, thing he does. Because okay. he said it takes him 30 minutes to go from yes. the, the Goku God's world to, instant transmission to Earth. We know now can. Well, we've. I, I think. I think, we, it's, it's crazy, okay, I think yeah. they, they've. They've. Uh, they've. They've always said that, but the problem was in the English. The first time that they dubbed it, he said that he traveled as a as a mass of light, which was a wrong translation. Because when you see Kai, he says uh, you ha- he says I basically have to think of where I want to go, and I get there instantly. That's why it's called instant transmission. Before so that's always movie, been yeah. that's always been confirming just when we saw it the first well, time. Well, no, just to know that like what I'm what I'm getting at is how fast it is. Is I thought instant transmission might take a while still to get to the god's planet. Oh yeah. So for because I mean how far it is where you can't even sense key. I mean that's you know Goku had a hard time when Frieza landed and Earth he was having a hard time. Well, because he didn't hear feel any power though. He felt he couldn't feel Frieza because Frieza wasn't power powered up. Away. But so, but but see but see I think he got better at it because. Goten, I mean Trunks, powering up to Super Saiyan. It's not Go, even close. It's not to close to the Frieza form or even to Gohan. Yeah, yeah, he's and so he's, he's got he's getting, so Goku got learning. better at sensing key. Yes, he's still training. Well, because he's able to do God Key now. So, is, does do you think that would give him a heightened sense of reading key? 
That's we don't know too much about the God key, so I can't really. Well, there's been a lot of new facts that we've gotten. That was one. So that's another fact, which is it's separate than the anime. I just wanted to share it. Was the new manga chapter came out 13, and now we can confirm that red is before blue in the transformation. And it shows that it's altered now in in the manga because when he we didn't have the Kaioken Super Saiyan blue. Yeah, we had. Yeah. Not that I care about that being canonical necessarily, but just the fact that we know that it does go Super Saiyan the God and then Super Saiyan Red God Blue. So, no, I was just saying that's just kind of a fun thing. We've gotten a lot of information in the last like, week or two. I'm curious because, like, how the hell did he get Super Saiyan Blue? Vegeta? <laughs> yeah, it makes me want to know how Vegeta got it. Well, but it's not the point. I just yeah. wanted to mention Again, some I, power levels that we know. And, and, and what I want to say is until I see it from Toriyama, I, I'm still going to take it with a grain of salt because I've I talked with Miles about this that the manga is not is not under Toriyama's guidance. Like, True. He gave basically an outline saying this is going to happen. Goku's going to fight Hit, then Goku's going to get out of the ring. I'm just saying, like, yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, some of these facts, I don't think a transformation in power level gauge would be screwed up by Toriyama, though. True. That's what I mean. Like, maybe I'm, the facts just... of how they got there, yeah, but, like, something as basic as red to blue. I mean, I can. Yeah. I don't see why Toriyama would backwards that. That's just going to... But, again, I don't know fingers, I don't know if you know? Toriyama knew that that's what he was doing. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's we, the only we thing. We can blue. theorize, but, but, but yeah, th- 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 that's one theory. Th- there's another thing that's going around, um, and it's... uh. And it, well, this is not necessary, but there's one, I guess, one thing that I, I'm trying to wrap my head around is the sense of time travel. Because apparently Whis and the way that Trunks does it is very different. Because when Whis explained... When, 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 yeah, when Whis explained how time travel works in his, it's known you as the butterfly on, effect. Yes. So he said, like, you, you step know... step on a plant where it wasn't stepped on before. Uh-huh, and it can, change the outcome of blowing up a planet. Yeah, and so he's saying time is always moving forward. <laughs> it cannot go reverse. If you do that, you're gonna, you're, there's going to be repercussions, and it's gonna, it can destroy the future and where you go back in time. Where Trunks' timeline's always moving. His, yeah, and his is always moving at the same time as, when as the, the current one. Uh-huh. Yeah, which I explained to you is, like, if he comes to the past on a Friday and then goes home next week, Monday, when he goes back home... It is Monday. Yeah, it's it that goes, same well, amount of time. He missed four days of his his current timeline. But and the point is that that's how anyth- his time works. It keeps going. And anything that he does will not affect will his not future. Affect his future. So the fact that we explain well, time in travel, that type yeah. of sense. I mean, obviously, as we can come and his mom is dead because he wasn't there to save her. But you, I get what you mean. But the, the point is like, where? Why do they have two different se- two different understandings well, of time? And so this yeah, is where the, this is where the notes come in. Because in the notes, Bulma's, Bulma's, notes? Bulma's notes saying there are these theories and observations and um, hypotheses that actually... are explained that explain how time travel works with the time machine that Trunks has. Well, it's not a theory anymore because it's actually working. So well, yeah, but she says that. She Bulma's, says these are Bulma's, theories. Yeah, Bulma's, we future Bulma's, the summary, future she Bulma's way the... of... of Time travel is different than what we is Weiss describing. And because I think... Weiss rewinds time, and isn't his like a three-minute limit? Here's a three-minute limit, and it... And I mean, he oh he and he 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 kind of hinted at this at, at resurrection. He said, "If I go back in time, it can change stuff in the future." And they're like, "What did you say?" He's like, "Never mind." So we we we've known since the movie that that's how we understand time or how the gods understand time. Whereas Bulma somehow, future Bulma somehow learned how to kind of go past well, that see, and not affect this, her this timeline. This was my these are my this was my theory of it was Bulma Bulma found a way to go back through time without. Uh, because if she alters her timeline, um, either it's going to stay the same or it's just going to get worse. So she has to fix another timeline. And she probably um, most likely like accepted that. And she wants to help that Goku. Because Goku was... You know, Goku, Goku was... So almost her friend. oldest friend. Yeah, so like you know, she wants to save him. So <laughs> yeah. she probably knew that, that this type of way of time travel that she does with the time machine... Is gonna be different. It's not gonna be the. It's not gonna save her time, and she knows that. She probably has to do well, that. It makes you wonder too. Like, we, me and me and David theorized this a little bit too. Is it's called Dragon Ball Super, and we know the reason why. It's the Super Dragon Balls, and I don't think we've seen the last of the God Shenron. What do they call him? Super Shenron. Super Shenron. Thank you. And I don't think it's the last time we're gonna see him. Obviously, because of the name of the title, duh. And I really have a big feeling that a lot of I, I feel the next big wish in the series. The only dragon that's capable to do it, obviously, is a super dragon that to be able to restore future Trunks' timeline, like bring the people back, bring back people as dead, restore the planet. I don't know if that means bringing back like Vegeta and Goku and Piccolo and the Z-Fighter. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not going to get that crazy in theories. I'm just saying 
I have, I mean, his planet at this point, there's no reason for him to go home. There's probably that's like a few thought. hundred humans alive back. I mean, it's just like. There's like, no one left. It's like the Terminator series and everybody's dead in the future. I mean, there's no point to be living in that future. He can go back to a dead planet, but what's he going to do? Fertilize the last remaining <laughs> women? Yeah, he can't. He just wanted my. Yeah, my yeah. is life. I know. Somehow. This is going to go on like a sperm spree, you yeah. know, super sperm spree. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I totally agree with you. Like, there, yeah. there has to be. What will be no... the next purpose we see that super dragon? Yeah, and the, the I guess the bigger question is why is he going to go back to a uh, a world where basically everyone's dead? There's nothing for him anymore. There's there. nothing for him over there anymore. There's nothing for him, and the, and they know this. Like Bulma knew this that there's nothing that they can do here. That's why they wanted to get Goku and Vegeta to go to the future. To help them beat black. What if they have him go to the newly restored Earth Six? <laughs> and, and, then, and there's like it's like a certain timeline with Goku and Vegeta and everybody just goes there and just realizes every. I don't know. I'm just kidding. For fun. But I'm just saying. I just think the next Super Dragon wish is going to be restoring Trunks' timeline. Yeah. You know what I think though is you, he deserves this. It. This I mean, could this just popped in my head. Is they could they could transfer all of the people that were there on Trunks' bad Earth to Universe Six. Universe Seven. You no, know, Universe Six is. Uh, oh well, either one. Yeah. Just because, just for the sense, sake of, that's a clean, that's a newly again. Planet. We're, again, just, we're, 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 you're jumping different things. Where yeah. we, we have not we're established. On the current, like, we have not, as far as we understand it, we're they're still in Universe Seven. As far as we understand, they are. They are. Trunks and his people in his he is Universe Seven to use Universe Six since it's a dead planet. What would be okay, the point? but what that's the what po- the point is why? Why? Well, it's not a dead planet. What's well, like? A, it's, it's not, not a dead planet because it, well no it's not a dead planet in six now they got it revived he even said no, like he's like planet. there's humans down there could yeah be but that's what they can do they can revive all the humans I'm, and I know, from there there's a different way you could just do that but I'm just that's just my thought but oh anyway. okay okay but anyway then the the one final th- um, thing I want to talk about is the ring that uh, black that Goku Black has that so, wasn't shown in a certain scene <laughs> yeah it wasn't shown in the forty eight <laughs> and all of a sudden he has him like. Okay, he, he was hiding it. So we, we kind of missed that too. I, I really hated how Goku turned Super Saiyan two, quote unquote, but as a Super Saiyan transformation. That really pissed They'll me off. They'll probably fix it in the animation. I'm hoping because that the, the animation was a little sketchy last episode. Not some lie. parts. Not o- overall, it was okay. But Goku, there were some parts. There were some really Goku embarrassing had like Majinized, like you know how Vegeta's eyes look <laughs> sunken in, like black when he uh-huh. was Majin. Go- Goku Super Saiyan three had that look. I was like, what the hell? He's not Majin. That's weird. And then, um, but the, the whole thing about the ring. Is uh, we got uh, in, what's it, tra- uh, translations of episodes of the next episode of kind of like a summer of what's going Spoiler on. Spoiler list for anybody. Spoilers, listening. yeah. So if this you haven't, spoilers. yeah, if you haven't watched it, you probably should. Have you already? Re- if you're hearing this this review, the spoilers in three, two, one. So in this in the translations, it talks about um, Weiss and and Beerus, and it says that they they recognize the ring that's on. Uh, Goku Black's uh, finger, and it, they say that that is a ring of the Kaioshins for time. Now the question okay. is: Okay, so is yeah. this is is uh, Goku Black? Is he a Kaioshin, or did he get it from a Kaioshin, or did he fuse with a Kaioshin? Um, and then the thing, the other question is: What is this ring for? If because back in episode forty nine, again, we specifically and Adam and very vehemently said time travel. Is prohibited even for the gods to do. Gods aren't supposed to. The only one that can really do it is the Omni King. Yeah. So, so the question. So, I mean, obviously, we've seen Whis do it before, and they're kind of lenient <laughs> with the Z fires because Boma gives them food. So, yeah, but then again, yeah. I kind of think the Beerus and Whis are so interested what the hell is going on that they just like, I don't know, because so I, I want to see what's going to happen. You know, I mean, yes. they, they seem really interested, but they're supposed to play a big part, as mm-hmm. we've been confirmed too, in this arc. And it makes me wonder, is Beerus and Whis going to sit on the sidelines again this time? I think so. I, I just think that it's something that needs to they're going to have to report to the Omni King. Because Beerus well, again, is so strong, I don't think it's good for this point to still, to make him to where Goku's on his level yet, I don't think it should be anything like that. Like, Beerus still needs to stand as that what do you call it? Like, Goku needs to fear him and want to get stronger. Someone to push towards. Rain over. And he needs to gain up it's there, his, that it's his, Yeah, it's his um, stumbling block, kind of. It's because it, he he's always gonna... it's out there when he's pushed for, but I don't think it should happen anytime now, soon. Now, this is the other thing, is we... The way that this time ring or whatever works is it basically opened up a wormhole. Like, it didn't work how Whis did, because in Whis, how Whis did, he basically rewound he time. He just rewinds. He doesn't, like, but time this, skips But like this that. one, it, 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 like he, it looked like he literally ripped through the fabric of time so he could pass through. That's how it looked. Like, that's what like the ring does. That's like a fabric to me. <laughs> well, Come look on, at, look at the earth. 
Now, now the thing is this. How did um, he sense his key too? It his wasn't the key. His ring, his ring said my, well, my the, ring is acting up. You know what it could be is, that ring, is could, that? the ring could go to where like, you know when you hear about like um, movies or certain games where, like, oh, this is where he, the, the, the particles here is where he he jumped or he, where the fabric of time was used, where he time traveled. So maybe he was in that area where Trunks disappeared into time and the ring picked up on the, the particles and it opened it up for him. That might be That's my, just my thought. My other thought is this. As again, we said that time travel is specifically prohibited. Well, how do you know if someone's come from the future or not? This is where the ring comes in. The ring can can basically sense when someone has used time travel in any sort of manner, and it can pick up. And so the Kaioshin, maybe that Kaioshin, whoever had that ring in the first place, his job was to find the offenders and basically bring justice towards them. That's what that's what I'm thinking. That's a well, hypothesis. Here's a good here's a good reference is um, the tools of the gods. We know one of the tools is a cube. Maybe this. Ring is also one of the tools for the gods of time travel. I think it has to do because they you have to I mean? maintain. Yeah, they have to maintain they order. So they have the cube to go to different universes. Mm -hmm. They have maybe the ring to go through time to to second to maintain balance of if they need to. And, but then it did say it would detect him. I'm gonna go on a little fun theory on something you okay. talked about that you'll probably want to join in. If it's true, I don't know if it is, but that sword that Trunks has is it the sword that we that you were thinking? Uh, the Z-Sword? The Z-Sword? Because if it is, if that's a tool of the gods, maybe what was activating was to the tools of the gods. Maybe it was sensing the, the sword. That's a far-fetched theory, but I'm just throwing it out there. It's, so there it's, could be it's a, a possible. Kai well, the thing is, when you think about it, you know that Kaioshin that was, you know that green, green? Kai? He held a sword in the intro. He had, was holding that sword on the side. when uh, So it shows him walking with the sword, and I then it shows him this. falling. So he has okay. a sword in his hand. Do you think that maybe that's Trunks' sword right now? Maybe I it's not the Z he's sword. In maybe the sword. it's a Kai's sword. It could be a Kai's sword to. or it could be he's in the sword. Well, again, if it's going to be any sword, again, people are saying it's a Z sword. Maybe I'm it's not saying, a new Kai sword. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not impossible. Um, I mean, it, it would. It's a little far-fetched. It's a little far-fetched, but it makes sense that the reason that, that Trunks can shoot beams from his sword yeah. <laughs> is because it's a Z sword. It's a, it's a not magical, but it's a... It's a sword from the gods, so it obviously it can probably yeah. channel his key into it and shoot out. Again, yeah. Diego mentioned this. It's in the games. <laughs> in the games, he can do this, but it, like, we can't take the games as canon. No, we can't. And so this, again, it would, it would be like, yeah, this could possibly be, um, be the Z-Sword because that's what, that's what Trunks can do with it. Now, um, the, the only thing is like, it doesn't look... I mean, this sword kind of looks the same. I mean, I can't really tell. Yeah, we don't really know. We're just theorizing. We're just theorizing. I mean, yeah. it, it, it could be. Um, I'm, I'm not just wondering how it pulsated his ring to know. The other thing I want to know, I want to, we haven't really delved in, dwelled into this, but the Green Kai, for example, who is he? Now, I don't think he is the Supreme Kai because we know that the, the it's the same. How do I say this? The Supreme Kai should be the same in future Trunks' timeline regardless. So who is this extra Kai? And what I'm wondering is if it's not Trunks' sword that he got that from, maybe this is just a new Kai that we're going to meet down the road. And maybe this Kai has a lot to do with black. Maybe this Kai has a lot to do with black. And the Purunga earrings, or the Purunga, what are they called again? Potara. Potara earrings, thank Purunga. you. I know, I know. So the Potara earrings that he's wearing that he has one, maybe the other one oh, goes to the other Kai. And I'm wondering if this other Kai is, is knows dark, and maybe Trunks hasn't even met this Kai yet, is what I'm saying. I feel that this might be a whole new character, and I feel that this Kai has a lot to do with dark. Why does it dark only have one of the... What are they called again? Patara. Patara, thank you. <laughs> it's been like 10 years. Okay. I've told you like sometimes. I know. But I'm just saying like maybe the other Kai has the other one. And maybe they're intertwined. Maybe it isn't Trunks' sword that he got from that Kai. Maybe we're going to find out from him and he's going to fill us in more about Dark. And maybe that future episode where it says the mystery revealed, maybe that's when the Kai comes. Maybe yeah. some special Kai that's above the Supreme Kai. because we have we got the North, the West, the East, and then what was the big guy's name? The 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 filler one, Grand Kai. Yeah, the Grand Supreme Kai. No, it's so just the know. Grand Kai. No, 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 no. The big the one, the Majin Buu. The Majin Buu. Oh, he was uh, the, the, he the, was the was I, it the Grand Supreme Kai? No, he, they were all still. No, no, there was five. There was five. There's the buff one, the girl, the old man, and then the Shin, skinny one, and then, and then the, the fat boot. I can't remember his name. I can't five. either, but I'm just saying, like, maybe he's, had like, some different... Maybe, because we know about the gods of destruction. Maybe he's another god of destruction. Maybe he's a god of creation. I don't know. But again, like, it, it doesn't... But he sounds like he's evil. Because no, Beerus... The new Kai, the green one? No, 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 no. no. I'm not That's talking about the green Kai. I'm talking about black. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm talking about Kai. I'm okay. saying, like... 
I think he might have an idea of what black is. He might, and or I'm he might he be might black. Just be a, a new character to like everyone, even Trunks. That's Again, he mean. might be, he might be black. Maybe got powers from him, or did something. Maybe that's why he's there. But why does he look like again, Goku? like <laughs> yeah, and he knows he knows about Goku. Yeah, and he again, said, so your son Goku. And then yeah, that was weird. And so it's like yeah. well, that was it, weird. There, there's there's tons of theories. There's tons of things. Like one is maybe Trunks mentioned his name, and that's why he's like you always talk about. I'm looking like this son Goku guy. So <laughs> no, oh, so you're son Goku. This well, is well. The Trunks. thing is, it could have been well. It could have been because you know when when Black arrived, he could have been like Goku. It's you. And then, you know, attacked. And he's like, oh, so you're... That's a good back. point. It, it could, could be. be. Just a silly little thing Yeah, like it could that, be a little could thing. Be no, that's, a, that's a good point. It could be... Because we want to look all into these absurd theories and connect all these thoughts. And it thoughts, could be as simple as that. But when you really think of it as Dragon Ball, a lot of these theories don't work in Dragon Ball. It really is as simplistic as it gets when it really comes to Sometimes, this. Sometimes, yeah. And with Dragon Ball, it's usually not these far, drawn-out theories. Like, we, we, we want to connect the dogs, but a lot of times it's really so simple in your face. Yeah. With drag- well, that's how it's always been. It's yeah. a simple story. It what always were you has been. Thinking that I was going to say though, David. No. Oh. Um. No. The, the other. Uh, well, the other possible theories that he kno- that again Goku is somehow involved in this uh, from his timeline in the sense that he somehow got Goku, or seen Goku in the uh, in the, the, afterlife, the afterlife, which is my theory. I told you. About, and like, yeah, and so he took the appear- yeah possessed or he took the appearance of him. Kind of like Ginyu, like he wants that stronger body. Goku, we already know in the other world. I don't even. I, I guarantee he got Super Saiyan three. I'm sorry, he transcended that even further because we got to remember, like Goku dead to when he comes back in Boo in Trunks' timeline. You know, he doesn't come back and then. You know, get wished back. Like, well, yes. the thing is, what I'm thinking I think is, Goku's what's had more time to train. Well, in the, the thing in is, that I think future. every time this is my theory is, every time Goku's come back with his body is because he's done something heroic and died. His first time was he got killed by Piccolo because he took care of Raditz, and the second time he died was he moved Cell, and yeah, he, and he saved the Earth. So I think in Goku dying naturally of the heart virus, he wasn't able to. I thought that was back. I thought that was a thing because remember that's just my thought. That's my thought. I didn't know. I, if that's I thought true that or not. I thought that was why he could keep his bodies because he didn't die from natural causes, or is it just because he was so heroic that he was able to keep his body? It, I can't remember how what that was. It was the heroic part. It, it was wasn't the so natural cause because not everybody got their body. It had nothing to do with natural causes because not everybody had a natural body. If if, if but this problem is. That's the, my the, the, well, the problem is what we're basing on. If you really think about it in the anime, Akira Toriyama did never, never really shown the afterlife in the manga. That is basically just a- the anime thing. Like we see the King Kai thing in Snake Road, but like the PyCon arc or um, what did I say, like like the the North, West, and East, and the the Grand Kai, like that is all filler. Yeah, Akira Toriyama. The, everybody, we thought we knew Hell. No, Hell is what he showed with with Frieza. That is real hell, Akira Toriyama style. The hell that we saw was like, um, you know, like the anime. Like, oh, yeah, the like English the, HFIO. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is that is filler. It's like he's never shown the real afterlife ever. Yeah. The only afterlife he's shown is like the Supreme Kai, and then, you know, Grand. I mean, uh, King Kai. Like those are really the only Kai and Kai's that he's really shown. He didn't really get all de- in depth with a lot of stuff we've seen. Yeah. And so when you think of it that way, we don't really know what happened with Goku. Like, we do know the fact that he did go to Super Saiyan 3 in our current timeline. And I'm, I'm assuming, obviously, he did the same thing in future Trunks' timeline. So if Goku's body's possessed, we know that that body that Black is possessed, if that's the case, is stronger than hell. Yeah. yeah. And he's had more time to train with that body. Why wouldn't you want the body? It's probably the most powerful body in the afterlife. <laughs> no, there's yeah. there's the theories. Yeah, let's uh, we're in a little bit long. So let's go into um, what we think in episode fifty. What's gonna happen? Um, Goku versus Goku's fighting Black. You um, see him fight Super Saiyan versus Black, right? A little and bit. Black and then, was normal, but this is just the preview, right? That we yeah. saw. So and the preview can Saiyan be cut. And, Super Saiyan 2. Uh, and yeah. again, the preview like, can be I, cut. Oh yeah, they showed Super Saiyan two. They find the real like Super I've, Saiyan two. Like time. I've said, they <laughs> cut. They they're good at cutting. The episodes to make it look like something else. Because remember yes. when we read the manga of when Goku fought that bear guy, and Goku never shot a Kamehameha, and then the it shows the, that bear looking dude in the in the tournament. Oh, the yellow. Remember how we were like, he doesn't shoot a poop? Kamehameha on the <laughs> on that bear poop? looking dude, but then it was just because <laughs> of how the trailer showed it. Yeah, and you know that's I a think, good point. And then you know you know how yeah. the trailer showed it. In this new up for episode fifty, it shows at the very end scene it's Goku lying like, on the rocks the like he's rock. beat up. But he's still super saiyan in that. No, he wasn't when he, he was, was normal. Was he normal? No, he was normal. So, but it looked I, like I don't, he was. Yeah, but it looked beaten. like they showed him go super saiyan two, and then the next scene you see Goku beat up normal. So they can kind of trick you to think like he's super saiyan, and he got right. D so turns. It's just how it is. When I, really, he could have just gotten beat up normal. Also, and then also what I've saiyan. noticed was 
It looked like Black was powering up in one of the scenes. Yes. And he also had uh, some beat he had up some on scratches, his yeah. So yeah. he got hit by Goku. And he looks like he was happy, like, getting into a fight. Like, oh, finally someone's strong enough. And, you know, Goku's happy. And <laughs> I think, and for what I believe, I don't think Goku has turned blue yet. Oh, no. I shown. completely doubt it. It's too early of an arc. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. And, like, me and David, I think we theorized on when we were playing Overwatch. I, I think that Black's going to lose. And he's going to learn something from how Goku fought. And I think he's going to go and get stronger. Because we got a whole arc ahead of ourselves, right? If Goku oh, yeah. just beats him in like one episode, that's a waste of an arc. But I don't. See it's him, not going to happen that way. I don't see him beating Goku. You know what either, he though. could do is, is and this, this is, would be cool. Is is they're like a, like time police kind of thing. They have to chase him through the <laughs> universes. That's what he's. That's, yeah, yeah that, that's what we thought and too. This is gonna because Super is supposed to be about these other universes, right? Uh, well, this episode, the, this arc says it's going to transcend time and through the universes. And right? we know Black yeah. doesn't like Sans. Why is he trying to eradicate Sans? Well, I don't think because he if, if, he, if he possessed Goku for the body, let's just theorize on that. If he possessed him, maybe there's some bad history with the Saiyans that this guy Again, is. I, I think if, if, they, the if they do that, I think they're beating a dead horse because mm-hmm. that's that has been time and time again that someone always has a problem with the Saiyans. You got a point. Even in the... In the it needs to be better than babies are. <laughs> Yeah, but, but you still got a like, point, but I'm just saying. But I'm like, I, I don't want another... I yes, think, I, I, I want to eradicate the Saiyans. Saiyans. I think it looks more like... Black wants to fight a good challenge, and he's like, "Oh, this is pitiful for a Saiyan." Like, I heard Saiyans are one of the toughest fighters. And it could Trunks be that was, too. Like, yeah. what the heck? Like, I can't find anybody to fight. That's kind true. of a thing, you know what I mean? No, it's a good point. This is my that's good point. Because the strongest races we know is Frieza's race and the Saiyans race. I think what's going to give us a big yeah, clue what's going to happen yeah. will be the ending that's going to happen this Saturday. Uh, and he's going to happen. He's going to show. It's a new ending with a new song. I don't care too much about the song. I just want to see what they're going to show in oh, the they ending. Oh, they, they do. Oh, they sometimes show spoilers. some parts. They show some. That's they're going to show some new but parts. They show characters. They show characters. They might show some new parts, like like the 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 fake leaked image. Supposedly, is you see Goku standing in the in our time, and then you see Vegeta That's in cool. the in the Trunks time, but he's with his um, clothes from uh, from Resurrection F. So I'm like, but he's not in that in Good. the intro. In the intro, he's in his blue one, so it would kind of contradict Wait, if he's the only one in his kind of god clothes. I just thought of something. These these god clothes that they got from Whis, I can't remember now, 49, was he just wearing his old one with his old symbols? Uh-huh, it's old. Why, why aren't they wearing these new uniforms? I love these new uniforms, especially I, Vegeta's. He looks amazing. You know amazing. what would be funny is if those clothes can help them... <laughs> Keep their their key in God form. I don't think so. I, I don't funny, think they're gonna do that. that. I, that's what I'm just saying. I think and again, I think Goku. Every time he's worn it, he's tight. worn his stuff. It's all weighted. Again, I don't know how much weight he's gonna have to put on there because it doesn't matter. This it doesn't point. matter at this point unless they're like used to it. A, a thousand <laughs> tons each somehow. Ten thousand yeah. tons because of how strong he is now. So, but do, can we all agree? Do you guys think that Goku's gonna lose this next episode? No, do you guys I think, think that I think he'll? he'll win? I have a feeling Black's lose. out. I think he's going to peace out. I think I think it'll be a close call because I feel like... But, wait, when you happen. say close call, do you mean you're going to see Goku go Super Saiyan No, blue? I don't think he's going to go that. I, like I said, I think, I, go, I think Black, Black is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to understand that, that Goku still has lots of power and that he won't be able to it's beat like, him at this time. Yeah, I want you to fight me for real. So not, I'm gonna leave. It'd be kind of cool if like, he just kind of does a sense where his eyes just kind of turn like red pupils. And then like he all of a sudden like, can't sense his key and like Black's like, oh shit. <laughs> Goku's like on a whole different line. I don't know. I just, I guess what I'm saying is this arc's too early, and I don't feel Goku like losing and after the train was. Really I sick. I just hope it's not. It's, like it's gonna kind of be like the whole Cell thing because Piccolo could have defeated Cell when in the when it first imperfect. And Piccolo pieced out. And I mean, Pic- uh, Cell pieced Cell out. pieced out, and then Vegeta could have beat Imperfect Cell. They let him. You know, go. go. I feel like we're gonna have something similar. Because yeah, that's always been a traditional. It's not really that overused. Happens. That's just how Dragon Ball. That's works. how. That's how. That's a good way. The only time it never really works, happened right? was with Boo, because Boo. Yeah. I mean, the only time was with Gohan for a little bit, but he's not even Trunks. Like Trunks yeah. had a huge problem even when he was Super Saiyan three, to finally Go-Tanks. willow down Boo to actually Go Tank. Sorry to get him to the point where he would beat him, but at that time the fusion ended. Yeah. So Gohan, I only that was the only time where Boo was actually in real danger. Frieza, it was like first it was Vegeta, then it was Piccolo, and then it was go on for a little bit, and then destroy Go-Hon. Goku until Goku became Super Saiyan, okay. and then it was some even. So they're gonna do this. It's, it's it, just how the Black is gonna work. get stronger. Thinking, yeah, like, Black is gonna get stronger, but I don't think right now he can beat Goku. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh yeah, that's gonna be I, tight, I, so I, I, I think Goku's just gonna go on an equal party level, have a good fight, and then Black's gonna be like, 
uh, okay, this guy's on a god level. I got to get out. For I now. honestly think, and I hope, and Diego has talked about this, I honestly <laughs> think that they're going to have to have, they're going to have Trunks beat him. Because it's Trunks. Is, Vegeta, I don't think, Vegeta would want to fight, you know, Goku. But I think Vegeta so you're also. you making it focused on just future Trunks. For I, I feel like Goku be, and I would Vegeta like are going to train like Trunks to get stronger. Because it'd be cool if they can make him god I mean, Because I feel like Goku and Vegeta could just kill Black instantly. Even like, full together, power, like, yeah. Let's say if they even fused her, they had the Patari rings, like. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan I don't Vegito. Black touching him. Yeah, you don't touch. Well, him. Super Saiyan God Vegito, I, I think could be beat and then, personally. And then on top of that, I think Vegeta could beat Black just because, like, he knows that Bulma died in Trunks' timeline, and you know that Vegeta loves Bulma. Like, just it's just for that fact, if that were to pop into his head, he would just destroy Black. So I'm pretty sure, like Vegeta, because this is how Vegeta is now. He's like, he's a teacher because he saw it with Kaba. He's like, you got to do this yourself. You got to learn how to attain this power. Like, you got to do it. Do you guys think with the whole theory that, or not theory, it's not a theory, it's confirmed, but Akira Toriyama talking about white haired enemy? Do you think that no, maybe. No, no, he didn't say white haired. It, it'll clash with white hair. Yeah, white hair. Isn't it? No, no, no it'll hair. clash with the white if he were to do it no, white. No, he did say it would go with you white. You know, he said if he, if he did white, it would clash with the next villain. Yeah, clash with the next villain, so, not white hair. Okay, well, here's the thing. What if Black learns how to do a Super Saiyan thing and maybe he is. What I'm saying is, what if it's it like a be. white haired, white key Super Saiyan? Who knows? It could be. I, it, that, that's a possibility. We're just um, waiting for that. White I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like I'm, uh, like I'm thinking, like Diego said, um, but the whole Kava thing is. You know, he he got mad at Trunks saying, why did you run away from your opponent? You need to defeat him. He he's he doesn't have he have, really haven't had time to train in this he past can, year. He's been if he, shows, show, if he exerts any energy, Black's going to find him. Or if he looks like if it looks because he can from what David stated in Trunks, the time that there's clouds over and it's like Black's all seeing eye kind of thing like Sauron in Lord of the Rings. So he can see where Trunks is. So there's no way Trunks could train. I just want to know who he is. I was just saying the white thing would be cool. I just want Trunks. I just want Trunks to go. I want Trunks to go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, so that that would Vegeta. That way he could go Super Saiyan God with all the Saiyans there. Maybe it show us how freaking Vegeta got that level. Yeah, but I want to. I want to see go go uh, Trunks do it because that way Vegeta be like, you know, I'm glad I saw you again, but I don't ever want to see you again because I want to know that you can. You're capable of handling everything now. And, and that's that would be a great way to end it. Be like Trunks, you're already as strong as you can be. You you know the Kaioshins, you, you know Beerus, um, you can you can do this. It'd be a satisfying ending because I think I was more satisfied <clears throat> with the anime. I wasn't as satisfied how do I say this? It was satisfying to see Supercell die by Gohan, but I think it was more satisfying to see Trunks go back, kill Cell, and especially the androids. I was more satisfied with that. Ending. Yes, because because when you watch the movie, cell. you were just hoping Trunks would just do something. And, then, and again, this was Trunks. It, Trunks did it. He didn't it's ask anyone to go problem. back with him. Trunks went and back did that. So know, again, they have like to do that. Such a satisfying episode. And I want Trunks to do like that, that again. I want yes. Trunks yes. to do that again. It's his arc. Damn it! Let him have the highlight. We always have Goku and Vegeta doing stuff. I want to see. But I want Vegeta to be the hero. Again, it could be that he he can split himself to three and they're all the same power level. And they need one other one to be Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. There's Trunks, who can, who can defeat the original one. I, I mean, there's tons of things that could happen. We just don't oh, know. Oh, dude, imagine, imagine it's, that. It's, it's, too early, God, it's too early to, to, to go way too, in, um, yeah, too into that. Know. Way too early. Um, but yeah, but let us know what you think. Uh, we went a little way, a little way over, but it's fine. <laughs> it's going to um, be cool. Next week's episode is going to be cool because my feelings trans, trans... Nope, that's the one after. Yeah, next week's. This this is this week's. This this week's is going to be... Yeah, episode 51 is my... Feeling strength and time, and, and then, then episode fifty two is, is Gohan, Gohan and Trunks. Trunks. Future then, Trunks. Uh huh. And then episode fifty three is um, Black Goku Black's identity revealed. Yeah. So which will air, which there'll be a week there'll be a week that there's a break and then it'll happen, which is dumb. But no. whatever. Yeah, uh, that break sucks. Yeah, but let us know what you think. Um, write us or find us where Diego. On Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, at Twitter at ca- Chipotle Pocket Capital C Capital N Capital P. Facebook, Chibi the Podcast, to, um, Instagram at Chibi Podcast, and and YouTube at Chibi Podcast. Yeah. So that is it. Again, let us know in the comments <laughs> what you think. Uh, once again, this is David the Smash Fan. Mr. Worldwide. How's your tech guy? All right, we'll see you later. Chibi the Podcast. Bye.